Vision models are coming and they are coming fast with GPT-4.0 being exceptionally good at interpreting images. It was only a matter of time until we started to get open source models doing the same thing. So today I'm gonna to show you two new open source large language models with Vision. One is Phi 3 Vision and that's from Microsoft and the other is Llama 3 with Lava, which is Llama 3's vision variant, and that's from Meta. So do they perform well? Let's find out. All right, so I have three windows open on my screen. On the left side, we have Phi 3 Vision 128K, which is a 128K token context window and the instruct version. And we're gonna be trying it out right here on ai.azure.com. And you do need to have an account. Next, we have the Xtuner version of Llama 3 Lava merged, and this is the F16 version, so not quantized. And it's a pretty beefy model. It's, I think, about 14 gigabytes. And you could see right here in LM Studio, it does support vision models, which is phenomenal. And you all already know I love LM Studio. We're gonna be using the Llama 3 preset, and there it is. And then as a baseline, I have on the right side, ChatGPT 4.0. And so we're gonna see how they perform. All right, so here's the first image. We're gonna try something simple. A llama lying down, that's it. Let's give it a try. So first, I'm simply gonna ask, what is this image? And this is the Phi 3 Vision Instruct. So describe this image. And it is quite fast. So the image shows a white alpaca lying on a grassy field. The alpaca is facing to the left and appears to be resting or sleeping. The field is green and there are no other animals or people visible in the image. Perfect, yeah. Now I'm gonna try out Llama 3 with Lava in LM Studio. Same prompt, describe this image. And keep in mind, this is running on my laptop locally. So it is really cool to have an unquantized vision model running locally. In the heart of a verdant field, a single alpaca has found its resting spot. The alpaca with its body painted in hues of white and light brown is lying on its side. So it's much more artistic with its description. It's not just, here's what I'm seeing. It's in the heart of a verdant field. The field around it is lush green, dotted here and there with patches of dirt. Yeah, that's a good call. Okay, the alpaca's position is in the center of the image, draws our attention immediately to it, making it the undeniable focal point of this serene pastoral scene. Very nice. All right, next, ChatGPT 4.0, describe this image. Oh, and it actually looks like this is the slowest one of the three, which is kind of crazy. The image shows a llama, so this is the only one that said it's a llama, the other two said it's an alpaca, lying down in a grassy field. The llama has thick, woolly coat, with a mix of white and light brown colors it is resting calmly with its legs tucked under its body and its head upright facing to the side. The background is lush green field with some distant patches of yellow flowers. Now, I actually didn't notice at first the yellow flowers in the image, but I think they're back here. That's what they're describing. So overall, all three of them pass. This is a really good first example. All right, next, I have a picture of Bill Gates, former CEO of Microsoft, founder of Microsoft, tech titan. I'm simply going to ask, who is this? And let's see if they know. All right, so first, back to Phi 3 Vision. Who is this? And keep in mind, Phi 3 Vision Created by Microsoft, created by Bill Gates. So this one's going really slow. I am unable to provide personal identification or names of individuals in images. So fair enough, don't love that, but that's fine. Next, Llama 3 with Lava. Who is this? All right, in the image, there's an older man who appears to be in his mid 60s. He has a warm smile, so they're describing the image but not saying who it actually is. I wonder if any of the three are actually gonna say who it is. So this is a very lengthy description of what the image is about, but it's not actually able to identify who this person is. And then finally, GPT-4.0, oh, who is this? I don't know who this person is, crazy. So surprisingly, all three of them have performed about the same so far. In fact, my local version, I'd say, is the best so far. We'll see, we have some more complex tests to run. All right, so nobody knew who this was or they weren't willing to say. Next, I have a CAPTCHA and all I'm gonna ask it to do is to tell me the letters in the image inside the CAPTCHA. So let's see if it's able to and willing to. So back to Phi 3 Vision, what letters are found in this image? All right, yeah, perfect, actually. So the letters found in the image are CAPTCHA, which it is there and V4XBG. 
Perfect. Okay, so that solves capture quite easily and quickly. All right, next, llama three with lava. What letters are found in this image? Okay, and there it is. The main focus of the image is black and white text base captcha code, which appears to be randomly generated. The code is V4XBG on the first line and VBG on the second line. Interesting. So definitely got it. I wouldn't say it's 100% correct. Now, let's give it to GPT-40. What letters are found in this image? Okay, so it failed. So it didn't output anything. And I've actually been having a lot of trouble with GPT-40 lately doing this. So let's just try it again. What letters are in this image? Yep, all right, that time it worked. Perfect. So interestingly enough, it did not include the CAPTCHA letters, which it should have but it did identify the letters from the actual CAPTCHA correctly. I'm gonna give this win to Phi 3 Vision. It gave me both the letters from the word CAPTCHA and from the actual CAPTCHA itself. All right, here is the next image. It's one of the thumbnails I've used in my videos and I'm simply gonna ask it, please describe this image. The image features a man in a red shirt sitting at a desk with a blurred face. He is wearing glasses and appears to be in a contemplative pose. The desk is cluttered. Overlaid in the image is OpenAI, followed by GPT-40 in large white letters. The OpenAI logo is also visible in the top right corner. Very nice. So I'm actually gonna ask it another question. Can you identify the movie that the image is from? Let's see. Okay, so no, it doesn't have any indicators that it is from a movie. I could probably ask, hey, is that person from the movie? Because it's actually just a person within the thumbnail, but that, fine, I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. All right, next. Back to Llama 3 with Lava. Describe this image. Now, by far the best interface is LM Studio, in my opinion. It is just such a nice, clean interface, even compared to ChatGPT. All right, so let's see what it says. The image presents a scene set in an office environment. At the center, man dressed in a red shirt. Okay, all good. In the background, there's a window that offers a view of a cityscape. Very nice. GPT-40, the word open AI is there. The overall composition of the image emphasizes the man and his thoughtful expression. Now let's ask the same question. Can you identify the movie that the image is from? All right, based on the information provided, it is not possible to confidently identify this specific movie. Okay, good. That's fine. All right, next, GPT-40, describe this image. Okay, same thing, describing it, the text GPT-4, interesting, it did not actually identify the O. Yeah, it's fine. Again, GPT-40 image recognition did the worst of the three, in my opinion. This is super surprising. I was not expecting this at all. All right, next, I have a screenshot of an iPhone and it's the storage settings screen. So we have a bunch of information on the screen and I'm gonna ask it about it. So back to Phi 3 Vision, the first thing I'm gonna do is just simply describe this image. Okay, it's a display screenshot of the iPhone's storage settings. Perfect, the total iPhone storage is Got it right. Photos, WhatsApp, Gmail, Health, Mail, LinkedIn, Tune Blast, iCloud. Okay, good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So now let's ask it some specific questions. How much free storage space do I have? And it should be very little. So you have 119.7 gigabytes of storage used out of 128 gigabytes total. So not quite what I asked, but that is correct. How much do I have free then? All right, 8.3 gigabytes of free space. Great, that's, that's really fantastic. Now let's ask a different question. What app is taking the most storage space? WhatsApp with 17.07 .07 gigabytes. And that is not true. So Photos is actually taking the most space with 133 gigabytes. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, all right. How much space is Tune Blast taking? 662.5, and that is correct. Okay, so pretty good, got one thing wrong. Let's try it again, now with Llama 3 with Vision. So first, describe this image. Captures the moment on an iPhone's home screen, specifically the storage section, iOS 9. It's so funny how different these descriptions are. All right, next, how much free storage space do I have? I'm sorry, but I cannot provide you with that information about your specific device or its storage capacity without more context. Okay, interesting. Maybe it doesn't know I'm actually asking about the image, so do I need to upload the image again. So I uploaded the image again. How much free storage space do I have? Let's see if it gets it right this time. Okay, so it's actually doing a description again. So let's stop. 
I'm gonna do a new chat. I'm gonna drop the image in again. Ask the same question. How much free storage space do I have? No, it's just describing what it's seeing. So this is really bad. Okay, so I'm gonna stop it. Okay, so that is a fail. Uh, let's keep going though. How much space is Tune Blast taking based on the image? And I did just add based on the image. Let's see if it does it better here. Based on the image, Tune Blast is occupying 2.5 megabytes of storage space on the device. No, wow, that is really bad. Okay, so next, GPT-4.0, describe this image. Okay, the image shows the iPhone storage setting screens. Here are the details. All right, and it's breaking down each one. This is definitely the best answer of the three. Next, I'm gonna say, how much free storage space do I have? So hopefully it does the calculation for me. Yep, 8.3, okay, very good. How much space is Tune Blast taking? 662.5, perfect, okay. GPT-4.0 is the obvious winner of this one. All right, next I have a QR code and it simply goes to google.com. I wanna see if any of these three can actually read QR codes. Let's find out. What URL does this QR code point to? Let's see, 53 vision. I'm sorry, but I cannot provide assistance. Okay, so that's a fail. Same question, llama three with lava. Okay, again, it's just simply describing the image. That's not actually answering the question. That is not good. Maybe there's something about the way I'm prompting it. I'm not sure. Last. GPT-4.0, here we go. All right, it's gonna analyze it using, it's probably writing some Python code right now. So I'm gonna guess it's, ooh, error analyzing. Okay, analyzing again. So yeah, this is using code interpreter right now. Error analyzing, trying again. That's so funny, it's such a simple thing to, get the URL out of a QR code, but it doesn't seem to be able to do that. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, it's just telling me to use a QR code scanner. Okay, so of the three, they all failed, but GPT-4.0 is the best failure. That doesn't really mean much though. Let's keep going. All right, now I have this meme, and this is one that I've used in the past when I was testing out uh, Grok's vision capabilities, G-R-O-K, and here it is. We have startups on the left, big companies on the right. Explain the meme. Five three vision, explain the meme. Sorry, it may be inappropriate to answer this question. The image shows two separate groups of people, one labeled startups, the other big companies. Humorously compare the two groups by depicting them in a literal digging in scenario, suggesting that startups and big companies are both working hard in their own ways. No, that is not true. So what the meme actually is, is with startups, everybody's getting their hands dirty, everybody's working hard. Whereas big companies, you have one person working hard and a bunch of managers overseeing them. Next, let's see if Llama 3 with Lava does it well. All right, this image is a diptych divided into two panels, each depicting a group of people engaged in digging activities. Okay, it's describing it, but it is not actually answering questions based on the image. So I'm kind of losing hope in Llama 3 with Lava. So last GPT-4.0, I actually think it's gonna get it flawlessly, let's see. Yeah, contrast the work culture of startups versus big companies. The left shows a group of workers all actively involved. The right shows big companies uh, while others standing around. Perfect, yeah, so GPT-4.0 wins this one. All right, next we have an image, a screenshot of a table and I wanna convert it into a CSV. So let's try. Phi3 vision, convert this into a CSV. Okay, here we go. So metal name, sport, event, date, gold. Yep, this is perfect, great. Next, Llama3 with lava. Convert this into a CSV. All right, here it goes. The image presents a table that serves as a schedule for an athletic event. Okay, the table is neatly organized into columns. This is not converting into CSV. Either Llama 3 with Lava is just built to describe an image, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. So if you have any ideas as to what I could be doing wrong here, let me know in the comments, but this is just not good. All right, same thing, GPT-4.0. I think it's gonna get it. Analyzing, okay, so it's writing some Python code to do this. And actually, I think 5.3 Vision did it the best, or at least the quickest so far. And it was actually using the vision capabilities. I believe when it says analyzing, it's writing code, which means it's not actually using the model but that's okay. All right, download the CSV, that's different. That's really cool, so it actually created the file for me. And yeah, okay, perfect. That's the actual CSV now, very nice. All right, so those are all my tests for today. If you have suggestions for other ways to test vision models, drop a comment below and let me know, I will use them. Which model do you think did the best? I think Phi3 with vision is actually really impressive. Llama3 with lava was okay, but it kind of started failing, and GPT-4.0 was pretty good. I'm actually gonna give the wind of Phi 3 vision. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.